believe I'm finally saying this, but we have moved into Villa Lipset. It is complete, almost. Still putting some finishing touches on it, but the journey is nearly coming to an end. Let's get into a long-awaited Villa update video, starting at the porch. So we got this beautiful black aluminium modern gate put on, adds a little bit extra security, and I think it looks really sleek and cool. The porch is just completely transformed to what it was. We've got this beautiful pebble design here when you just step into things. Skinny modern window that again gives it a really sleek look and lets some light into the inside. And we also got the Planica fireplaces. So there's a lot of things still in boxes. Again, some finishing touches. These are those like tall standing flame fireplaces that you might see in nice restaurants. But we also got a Planica fireplace in the wall. So let's go inside, check out my favorite part of the whole house. It's the living room, baby. All right, so this is without a doubt the biggest difference. We actually kept the original door off the villa and painted it black, refurbished it. But this is one of the things that was here since the very beginning. I think it was like turquoise blue. But anyways, if you come in here now, this is visually the biggest change off the whole villa. And I just can't get over it. We've got the beautiful stone Mykonos Greek wall. And if I was to pick Three places that influence the design of this house. It is Mykonos, Tulum, and Ibiza, which are three of the craziest trips we've ever gone on. And they're such cool places, so, so laid back, minimalistic, and they've influenced the house a lot. Speaking of Ibiza, this is the Zoko home linen Ibiza couch. I think it really complements the rest of the room because we didn't want to get white on white on white, so it adds some nice neutral tones. And again, this, we got this bench in a market down the road by the bull ring. And again, I want to add in as much wooden tones as possible, which brings us on to the dining table. So this right now is the center of the villa. This is where we kind of using it as a little mini kitchen to you know, make pre-workout, make little meals, eat our meals. And it's a 10 seater, so four on that side. Probably fit way more than four on this side and then one on each end. One day we want to have like a big dinner party here, but at the moment it's just me and Linda pretty much. So if you come into the main living space, you'll see the Planica fireplace. You hit a switch and this completely lights up. So on the very last Villa update, we're going to finally turn it on and it's going to look amazing. TV has arrived this week and we don't actually watch that much TV but I think visually it just looks good like right now this just looks a little bit blank so more updates later in the week we got these wall lights just put on and this actually wasn't center enough so you'll see that there's some wires sticking out of the wall it's got its guts hanging out so we wanted everything perfect we moved that over we're gonna plaster that this week this space has just completely transformed. I don't know what this was. Like, I'll put the old footage on the screen. I don't know what it was. Like, I was like, is this like some bunker, cubby hole? So we completely got rid of it, put in a huge window here, and just opened it up and let so much more light in. Between the dining room and this, they're probably my favorite changes to the whole villa. Like, if you <laughs> followed the renovation since day one, this right here was a big black gate, and you would step outside. Like, this was all outside. So we literally doubled the size of the living room, which is so hard to believe. And I can't wait to see how much the value increases from doing that, maybe a year or two down the line. But this was all outdoors. This was a huge wall here. So we knocked down that, knocked down this, and again, put the big, huge door frames on the outside. And just, it feels so big and spacious now. And me and Linda were actually saying the other day, we're like, it's just the two of us here. And after renovating, we realized how big the property is. And I'm like, this was so unnecessary. Like I almost bit off more than we could chew. I'll talk about that later in the video. It's been a pretty stressful two months, but we got it done and I'm delighted with it. So that brings us down to the little chill out space. This is the Tarifa Chase lounge sofa. And oh, this is where you go if you just want to chill out and forget about all your problems and sorrows and flick through a book. Look at the beautiful wall art. And once we have like a mirror here, a plant here, a little coffee table here, it'll just really complete the whole look. So a really cool part of the house that I'm happy with. And this was actually originally the dining room in the you know, very phase one of the villa. So I think it's super cool how open everything is. And I love the curved wall. Um, again, it makes it kind of, I don't know, it feels kind of artsy or something. It just makes it a little bit different. So let's go down to 
the living quarters. So right now, this is the kitchen and this should be arriving this week. And once that happens, Cooking with Lit is back. I'm gonna finally get on track of my diet. We've been eating out so much, you know, trying to like, you know, do little kind of food hacks to lower the cost, but right now our kitchen is literally a snag kettle. That's gonna be a huge help when that is installed and I cannot wait for that day. It's gonna be actually the biggest grocery haul you'll ever see. It's gonna be a bigger grocery haul than the thousand pound Whole Foods haul. So this is the main downstairs bathroom. If you want a long lasting relationship with your other half, get two bathrooms bathrooms or at the very least get two sinks. I'm telling you, it is it is a lifesaver. So we've got Linda's side over here, my side here. Mirror is gonna be installed this week. I think it's one big one or two small ones. I'm, I'm not too sure. It should be arriving soon. We got the concrete shower here, the black aluminum shower inside to match the one upstairs. We'll show that soon. Then here we have bedroom one, bedroom two, which is currently a storage room. We will not be showing you that. It is not pretty, but I'll give you a look at bedroom one. So this is bedroom one, nice big double bed. The biggest bed is actually upstairs. I'll show you that in a second. We just got some a standard dark wood wardrobe at the end here. We were gonna get fitted and we probably will over time, but I kind of like how just neat and compact this one is. And we also got the first gift off the villa. Linda surprised me with a wireless vacuum and it's my favorite toy. Like I just run around the house vacuuming all day. Keep watching till the very end for the best part of the villa, but we're gonna go quickly check out my man cave upstairs. So get ready for the cheesiest transition of all time. So we are now in my man cave and this is probably my favorite part of the house right now. And I think it's just as important as the kitchen personally and it is my workspace. I haven't had this for the last two months. I'm gonna be honest, I felt really bad, felt really unproductive, and it was really hard on myself because I wasn't hitting my goals, I wasn't getting enough done. And now that I have this, like my dream setup, a motorized sit stand desk, an extremely comfy and aesthetic chair, a beautiful background for recording, like even if I'm doing reels, sit down YouTube videos, which I'm gonna be doing a lot more of, it's gonna just look great in the background. So I'm just so happy and relieved to have all my microphones, cameras, laptop, I'm gonna get a monitor, lighting, everything. Just that, that means a lot to me, that more than you know. So in here, we got the upstairs bathroom, LED lights, same shower as down below, like black aluminum, looks so clean. We got a glass shower door in this one, because this bathroom isn't as big as the one downstairs, so I think that suits it a little bit better. And now, this is the big boy bed. This is where we slept last night. It is 200 by 200 from Emma Sleep Ireland. They actually have Emma Sleep all over Europe. So they got in touch with Emma Sleep Spain and they were kind enough to send out the bed and it is a game changer. Like every night, this sounds so lame. Every night we're excited to get into bed, but not in that kind of way. We're actually just excited to like lie there and sleep. <laughs> you can notice really how kind of big the bed is. Um, I think it's a super king or something, but it's absolutely huge. And then we got the same locker as down below up here. Again, I really like it. We got the bedside tables. We actually think we're gonna get bigger ones for here and move these downstairs. Little bedside lamp, Atomic Habits by James Clear, excellent book. So I'm just gonna quickly show you another cool part of the upstairs and then we'll get to the best part of the villa. Okay, so I need you guys to visualize here. This is the upstairs lounge and this is when you look at the floor plan, it's pretty much half the size of the upstairs. So we wanna make it into something really cool. So I'm thinking a nice awning or some sort of cover, kind of like what the neighbors have back there. And then an L-shaped couch and a Panica fireplace circular one just right in the middle. So really cool place where you can catch the sunset, get a tan, whatever you want and just chill out. So. There's so much more to come. Again, not a necessary part of the house, the kitchen, the office, the bedroom are, but we have some finishing touches. All right, so this is easily the best part of the house, and that is the swimming pool. I still just can't believe I have a swimming pool. Where the child started to now, I just couldn't make it up. So my backflip is still not where I want it to be. It's a work in progress. So let's just do a little normal conventional dive. And what a way to finish off the house tour. I just can't believe it. And I kind of feel like 
I'm just getting started. I just turned 30 at the start of the year. I just got my first property. Just the perfect place to just kill it and continue this journey. I just wanna say thank you so much for following along and still a lot more to go. And I'm just truly grateful. And at times lost for words, like it still all just seems surreal. So let's go to the gym now. Let's smash a workout. Finish up this video. All right, people, so we're finishing up the vlog here. Workout done. I am living off shakes right now. The kitchen is installed this week, so expect to see that in the next vlog. But I just wanna say thank you so much for clicking on the video, for watching and for following along on this journey. I've just been so out of the game the last couple of months, and now I really feel like I'm in such a good position to just crush it for the last 90 days of the year. And I'm also actually taking on a number of people to come with me on this journey for the next 90 days. If you want to join the waiting list, first link down in the description box. It's gonna be an epic end of the year. Let's finish it off strong. Keep it real, I'll see you in the next one, peace.